What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back to the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Campcraft mod, and what this mod does is it pretty much overhauls Minecraft for camping. It adds 60 new tents, a bunch of new plants that you can plant, and a crap ton of new food, a couple new mobs, and as well as some traps. Now it also does add coral reefs to the oceans and sunken ships. Though I was not able to find any of those, I believe you do have to um, create a new world to have those spawn at all. But um, it also adds a campfire and a cooking stove. So we'll go ahead and start off with the tents. Now I do have the, uh, there's a small tent, a medium tent, and a large tent. And let me go ahead and show you that in too many items, I'll show you all of the tents. So here is all of the tents all the different types of materials you can make them with and all the different sizes so like I said there are 60 different tents there's a crap ton of tents here and it also adds sleeping bags and lanterns and a bunch of different other camping type of stuff so let me go ahead and show you the tents um, I'm not gonna be showing you how to craft this stuff simply because I don't have enough time but I'll go ahead and show you all the different sizes so you need to place your tent down and then you'll need a camper a camp hammer and then go ahead and just right click on it and be careful because it can kill you sometimes if you get trapped like I did, but I was actually able to escape. And then over here we have the door. And we have our little sleeping bag on the floor and our crafting table and one chest with one little lamp up in the top corner. Now to get rid of this, you do not uh, make sure you're not on creative mode. What you do is you go ahead and go to the middle block and go ahead and just hit that or right click it. And it will just take the tent down and you'll have it, uh, you should be able to pick it up, but for some reason it bugs out a little bit and you can't pick it up. Or you do pick it up and the block just stays there. So now for the medium tent, again, right click with the tent, uh, the camp hammer. And this one's a little bit bigger, just still has one um, sleeping bag, two lanterns. Now this one has two doors, a uh, furnace, a chest which is empty all the chests will be empty and then a crafting table with two lanterns and a bigger window now for the large chest now the large chest is awesome okay oh it almost killed me okay so here's the large chest it has four doors a huge window a large chest crafting table two furnaces uh, four beds in a bunk bed style and you go ahead and walk up here um, one thing you do want to be careful of is you, that you do not take down any like the lanterns or anything like that because if you do, you will not be able to uh, take down the tent easily unless you replace that. So go ahead and right-click this again, and there you go. The tent has been taken down. Now I'll go ahead and show you the campfire. So here's the campfire. You can right-click on it, and you can cook things in it. And then we also have the camp stove, and again light it with flint steel and you can cook things in this as well now for all of the different food so you can plant coffee lettuce leek carrots cabbage potatoes strawberry tea and tomatoes and then here's all the different this is all the food that the mod adds um, for drinks and everything um, for the drinks right here we have apple cider hot coffee hot chocolate hot milk hot pumpkin pie, hot tea, and hot watermelon. Now for all the drinks, you can also craft them in non-hot form, so just a simple apple, um, an apple drink, coffee, chocolate, and uh, milk, so on and so forth. We also have a strawberry milkshake and a chocolate milkshake. We have strawberries, tea leaves, tomato, sausage, bacon, scrambled eggs, fried eggs, uh, bread and toast, cheese, Rabbit, um, tough, I think that's how you pronounce it. Leek, uh, frog leg, uh, frog soup, venison, cheese pizza, meat pizza, fish pizza, cooked mushroom pizza. So there's a bunch of different um, styles for each type of food, too. We have a camp salad. We have pumpkin stew, deer, rabbit, bear, so on and so forth. We also have some sandwiches and some carrots and cabbage and ham and some potatoes so there's a crap ton of food that this mod does add 
Now I'll go ahead and show you the different mobs that it adds. Make sure I'm on creative still because I do not want to get killed by these guys. Um, so we have the... Oh, I need to put it on at least easy. So we have a camp bear. So that's what the camp bear looks like. He just chills around. Let me go ahead and give myself a sword so I can kill these guys. Because I don't want them roaming around following me. So here's your camp bear. And you go ahead and kill him and he'll give you some tough or whatever that's called. We also have a zombie camp bear. And we also have a polar bear. And a zombie polar bear, of course. Let's go ahead and kill these guys real quick. And the, le the next ones I'll just leave alive. We also have a deer. This is how you'll get your venison. Just kill the deer and you'll be able to cook the venison. We also have little rabbits. Little cute rabbits that run around. Some frogs. The frogs um, can get kind of weird as you can see. Let's see if we can get a normal looking one. There's a semi-normal looking frog. And we also have ants. And flies. Now the flies, they just take off as soon as you uh, spawn them. So they're pretty much gone. And what the heck is going on with this frog? Okay, I guess the frog stepped in the fire. He was on fire. Now what we have, it's the traps. So let me go ahead and bring these down. Okay. So we have the small spikes, the tall spikes. These are poison spikes, confusion spikes, and weakness. So here are the poison, um, confusion, and weakness. And then we also have a camouflage block, so you can just walk and step into it. Um, it does disappear as soon as you step on it. But you can make a large pit, and animals will just automatically fall down into it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the camp, uh, craft, camp craft mod. It's a very awesome mod, in my opinion. Um, it's come very far in its development, and I'm sure he's going to be adding a lot more stuff. I know there's a uh, anvil that's under development that will allow you to repair your uh, tools and such. So yeah, that is the Camp Craft mod. Very, very awesome mod. So I now need to clear my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these archiving programs will pretty much work exact, the same exact way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. You will then need to download Minecraft Forge and the CampCraft mod itself. So to download Minecraft Forge and CampCraft, I'll go ahead and give you a link to these two pages in the description. First off for the CampCraft mod, if you go ahead and scroll down, you have the table of contents right here. Um... If you keep scrolling down, you have the recipes um, in the download section, so go ahead and just click on that and that will bring you to uh, the recipes to download. I'm not sure if it's a download them or if it actually just shows you the, the recipes. But here's everything that the mod contains. So the ocean part right here, um, as I said, it does have reefs and sunken ships. But we want to go ahead and download it and go to Campcraft 1.3.2 version 2.3. And this will take us over to an ad fly, and it'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad, and this will bring us over to a media fire. And of course, you just go ahead and click on download to download the mod. So that is how to download CampCraft. Now for Minecraft Forge, if we go ahead and come over to this page right here, you're going to want to download the universal version, and you can either download it from ad fly or direct Whatever you prefer to do, keep in mind downloading it from AdFly will help support the mod creator. So that is how to download all the files you will need to successfully install this mod. So when you're ready to install it, go and come over to start, then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming, open your dot minecraft, then open your bin, left click your minecraft jar, then right click it. Do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now we will be coming back to the bin later on in the tutorial, so I'm going to minimize that for now. Do not close it. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Minecraft Forge. And you're going to want to put all these files into your Minecraft jar. So the easiest way to do that would be to hold Control, then hit A, and that will highlight everything and simply drag it all into your Minecraft jar. And hit OK. Go ahead and close in Minecraft Forge. 
Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not have this folder, that's okay. You can, go and just you can go ahead and just skip this step, but if you do have it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select delete files, then hit yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure always deleting MetaInf for installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, go ahead and close your Minecraft jar. And you should have minimized your bin, so go ahead and bring that back up. And go ahead and hit back, so we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now you're going to need a mods folder in your .minecraft folder, so if you do not have one already, you can either launch Minecraft, and that will create a new mods folder, and then come back to your .minecraft folder, or you can simply create one yourself, and to do that you want to right click inside your .minecraft folder, go down to new and select folder, this will create a new folder, and you want to rename this folder mods of course, so just M-O-D-S, no capitalization. So once you have your mods folder, go ahead and open that up and simply take the campcraft um, zip file and drag it into the mods folder. Now you go ahead and close that down and that's it, you're done installing the mod. So it's a fairly simple installation. I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.